How is everyone doing today? Next up on license plate spotlight, Indiana. We got this old highway map from 1950. Like I said before, I don't know nothing about US history, so I've been kind of looking some stuff up as I go. Like Chicago is in two states. They just call it East Chicago, like it's a totally new city. It's kind of weird. I don't know. State trees, the lily tree. Didn't know there was a lily tree. I had to look it up, even though I uh, work in the greenhouse. State bird, I think it was the cardinal. I don't know. I can't remember now. Maybe this thing tells us. Probably not. But anyways, we got a whole uh, lineup of Illinois plates to go through. Illinois. Indiana. We already did Illinois. We're on Indiana. Too many I names. And uh, we hit up Alpka again to get some information. So like I've said before, that's uh, alpka.org. The Automobile License Plate Collectors Association. And uh, they're providing us with all kinds of information on their archives. Become a member today. If you want to access the same archives. If not, check out the free part of the page. And uh, get into license plate collecting. It's pretty fun. So we're going to get this bad boy flipped around and set up. And we'll start showing you what I have for indiana plates indiana jones couldn't make it though but uh we got some cool stuff i knew zero about indiana just so you know i didn't even know where it was in the united states all i know is that they're indianapolis 500 that they race their race cars that's all i knew all i knew so uh follow along as i teach you some stuff i found out and uh we look at some awesome license plates okay 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 we got this bad boy turned around we're gonna start my oldest uh indiana i know this wall starts at 46 we're missing that one but we got 47. blue on yellow three 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 eight four seven it's kind of a cool little stamp the way they indented it like that nice heavy steel oh no people oh i found it didn't know where the impact was but same as usual, we're going to throw, I don't know, five or six up on the wall here. And uh, then I'll move and put them up where they're going to their forever home. And we'll keep doing that. And we'll tell you a bit about them as we go. Uh, this next one, it's a little rough. But uh, it is what it is. Yellow on black, 1950 XA5421. Still the same kind of cool indents on it. They quite the stamp to stamp out this license plate. And uh, these are prison made again. It seems like just about everyone in the U.S. has prisons to make their license plates. I don't know, in Canada we hire companies, but I guess put them guys to work, right? Now we got the next year. Black on white. TC354-1951. This white color really makes it so you can see the cool shape that they indented with. Almost looks like a Chevy bow tie. Almost. Not quite though. So I was looking up some more stuff about uh, Indiana. And in 1915, they invented the Coke bottle. They invented Jiffy Pop in the 50s. But they also invented the breathalyzer. So I don't know if we should give them any credit at all. What am I saying? It's not good to drink and drive people, but I don't know. Breathalyze people at the bar before they get in their vehicle. Give them a chance, you know. Anyways, enough about that bullshit. Let's back to this. 1954 GB 3091. White on maroon. Also seen in mystery plate package 110. I barely seen that written on the back. It's hard to see black on maroon. Uh-oh. Dropping my marbles. I mean my screws, but you know what I mean. I'm losing it a little bit. So uh, I don't know if Indiana is famous for anything else. Their state flower is the poppy. I didn't say which poppy. There's like hundreds of poppies, so they should be a little more specific with that. And uh, 1955, we got the tab. So this is that 54 plate again. Seen a mystery plate package 144. If you look, it's like the same plate, just they threw that tab on there, saving metal. Must have been the Korean War or something like that. We'll throw that guy on there. And uh, we're going to show you one more before we go throw these bad boys on the wall. 
because this next one's really cool. It's really, really rough. But 1961, DK4252, safety pays. I just, I like that they got that little slogan on there. Still stamping the plate out that same Chevy bow tie symbol or whatever. So it'd be cool to find one like this in a little better shape. But for now, it'll fill a spot. So let's throw him up and I'm going to put those guys back up higher where they're going to go. And we'll come back and look at some more of these Indiana plates. Maybe take a trip around the Indianapolis 500. Some cool stuff. And uh, we recently just posted a few other videos. So go back and look for Mississippi, Alabama, Florida. There's a few out there. Go watch them. Let me know what you think. And throw a comment out. We'll keep making them. Tell me what you want to see, what you want to know about. You want to know more information about the state itself, or do you just want to know about the license plate? Let me know. Give me a shout out, and uh, I'll give you some information. But I'll be back in seconds for you. Minutes, weeks, days for me. Probably just a few minutes, but seconds for you. I'll be back. Well, we're back. I got those first six up on the wall. I know it's only a couple seconds for you, but I've been gone for days. Just joking. It's only a few minutes, but round two. 1962 Indiana truck plate. Good for 11,000 pounds. This one's a bit longer. It's still stamped the same way as the other guys. They had this cool 11,000 pounds in there. 26380C commercial plate. We'll throw it up there. We got at least one more like this. They're pretty cool. They're a little bigger though. They kind of uh, mess it up when you go to put them on the wall. So you got these big gaps. 1963, yellow on blue. It's almost reverse Saskatchewan, you know, orange on blue on orange. 36 County, I think that stands for. B1288. I think that's what that is. Anyways, yellow on blue. We're going to throw this guy up there. They didn't change too much from 62 to 63. Just mix a little blue in that black paint. Now we got another one of these weight class ones. This guy can only haul 4,000 pounds. 1965 Indiana truck plate. 8136A. It's almost like a tongue twister. I like that one. I like the green plates. They always look cool. Let's see what else we got. Anything else you guys know about Indiana? I looked it up. It's like not famous for anything. Some Indiana limestone or something like that. And race cars. Farming. We're in Saskatchewan. We're famous for farming too. So shouldn't we be better? Maybe. Even though you guys got six and a half million people and we got like a million people 1966 the 150th year of indiana you guys are sure old compared to us we just celebrated like our 100th year in 2005 i don't know you guys are way ahead 94 e 1696 white on black looks like it's reflective paint almost see that little reflectiveness to it maybe i don't know if you can see that on the camera nice out where you guys are today it's cold here it's still warm in the greenhouse nice and tropical like 30 degrees celsius for all you american people that's like i don't know 90 80 maybe i don't know i don't know those conversions at all but it's 30 degrees celsius in here and it's like minus 10 outside so i'll take it Next up, America, 200 year, what was that, bicentennial birthday, Heritage State. Got a little dude on there with his musket or something. I don't know, he's probably someone famous, I don't know. 485606, we got this little J at the bottom. Must be some kind of county code again, I'm not 100% sure. I couldn't find that information, they were kind of lacking those facts on Elka. All they told me was what year it was made and stuff. 
nothing else. And we know the year, it's right there, 1976. So uh, that's all I'm gonna tell you about it. Next up is uh, this cool historic motor vehicle plate. They did these every year. They just switch up the date on the bottom. Same little image of this old, I don't know, what do you guess that is? Old touring car from the 20s. 1397, red on yellow, like ketchup and mustard colors. And they kept making them those colors for quite a few years. It's pretty cool. I don't know, I like the silhouette they use on there. It's better than those Colorado ones we've seen before that just had a sticker on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to uh, Spotlight Video Part 3, Colorado. And uh, you'll see what I'm talking about because there's a few collector plates on there. And they just used like a little sticker. Here, while we... Oh, we might not be able to move it enough. No, ladder's in the way. Sorry, people. I was going to show you, but it ain't happening. So we're going to move these guys up on the wall. And... Uh, fly on back to you and see what else we got to put up because we still got two more good stacks plus at some point in this video we're going to get a message from our sponsor Cletus so keep watching stay tuned be back in a second maybe ah! okay 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 I've been all over the map my hands are filthy I've been watering plants I've been digging I'm back to you guys now because we're talking about Indiana and their awesome license plates and what little I know about the state of Indiana. They're farmers and race car drivers. But we got this cool plate right here. 1983 Adams Co. horse-drawn vehicle. So this would be like a carriage or something being pulled around by horses. I think that's pretty cool. I'm going to see if I can throw these on the wall. Uh, well, we're filming, so if you can't hear me or don't see me, I'm still here. Don't go away. I'll be right back, and we'll show you another plate. But first up, we're doing this horse-drawn vehicle. Wow, that plate was beat up. What's next? What's next is the same color. Yellow and blue. Disabled American veteran. 5607, 1986, Indiana. They're still stamping their plates kind of cool. It looks like a dog bone now, I don't know. Call that the dog bone plate maybe? We're gonna throw that boy up there and uh, next we got a couple more cool ones that I don't know anywhere else it does plates like this, but they got them in Indiana, so someone else probably does them. I just don't know about it. So we got these two bad boys. I'm gonna show them both to you at once. Non-motor vehicle, 605 and 2887, both 1994. El Elkhart Co. and LaRange Co. So these must have been companies that had horse trailers or, I don't know, giving tours around. I really don't know. Again, I checked out Elka's page and it just says for a non-motor vehicle, so. Any vehicle that doesn't have a motor in it, I guess. And these are the different companies that sponsored it. So they were lacking a little bit in the info there. But it's still a good site. Check it out. That's alpka.org. The Automobile License Plate Collectors Association. They've been around since like the 50s. Long, long time. I've been a member now since 2017. Pretty cool. Need a lot of neat people, all kinds of cool information in the license plate world. Um, I suggest you guys all go at least go check it out. See me think of it. There's members on there worldwide. I've uh, traded plates with people from all over the globe. Never anything to China though. Hmm. I've sent plates to Africa, Australia, South America, Russia. It's cool. It's an awesome hobby. Okay, next up we got a couple couple National Guard plates. First, 3829, 1995, Amber Waves of Green. The other one's a little older, but I like the color on it better. So I'm gonna show you this one first. It's got the cool little like sunrise horizon silhouette. We got the farmhouse and the barn and the silo and some pine trees. The neighbor's house, I don't know. Cool color. 
National Guard, dude standing there with his musket. A couple little planes flying around. So we'll throw him up there. And the other one is uh, 1987 National Guard. So if you know Indiana license plates at all, you know what this one looks like. It's got uh, some cool green, yellow, and red to this plate. The Wanderer County, 10894-1987. So same National Guard sticker on there. But we got this cool like Jamaica flag colors going on or whatever. I like it. I like when plates get vibrant and colorful. That's what got me going in this whole craziness to begin with was a orange and blue license plate. Just happened to be Oilers colors. And I got it. And I don't even watch hockey anymore, but when I was a little kid, the Oilers, Gretzky fan, had to have that plate. 1963 Saskatchewan. Orange and blue. It's still one of my favorite plates. So, uh... Yeah, the bright colors is what gets everyone going or gets me going in this game. It's cool. We got the history. There's all different license plates. It never ends, the different stuff. So we still got another stack to put up. But first, uh, as much as I don't want to do it, we got another message from our sponsor, Cletus. And I swear to you, he makes me do this. I, I don't want to do it. He just... There's something I can't talk about that uh, he's going to tell the world if I, I don't let him do this ad. So I didn't say nothing. We're just going to let him do this ad. Okay, on to Cletus. Well, hello everyone. Cletus here on another episode of License Plate Spotlight, your sponsor. We're here hunting elk in Idaho. Yeah, Idaho. Cletus, what are you doing? We're not in Idaho. We're in Indiana. Oh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, oh, Indiana. Yeah, we're here uh, saving the eagles in Indiana. That's what I meant to say. I didn't say nothing about hunting elk in Idaho. What are you talking about? I've been talking about bald eagles the whole time. We're going to save the eagles. So if we just go over and we kill them Alabama gators and them Florida pythons, we could save the bald eagles. I think a bald eagle might eat a python, but it ain't going to eat no gator. So uh, let's save the environment in Indiana and save some eagles, what do you guys say? And uh, you don't listen to that crazy license plate guy, he's full of it. He hires me and pays me and loves me doing his ads like this. He enjoys it. He, I do not force him to do anything. And in that last video in Nevada, he was wrong. Aliens do not exist. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Go back and look at that video where he tried to claim there was aliens in Area 51. It ain't true. Anyways, this Cletus saying, uh, save the bald eagles. Your sponsor for today's video on Indiana license plates. So, uh, everybody, I'm Cletus and I don't know what I'm talking about, but you have an awesome day. Yeah! I'm back. What was that about Cletus? He don't even know what state we're in. He's hunting elk over in Idaho. Has to run across the country. He forces me. I promise you. I do not like that. So uh, next up we got uh, a handful of different just different passenger issues over the years. So we're going to start with 81. It's kind of like that Wanderer plate we just seen. Only it's got yellow, orange, and red stripes on there. 49H7517. So white on, or black on, white, yellow, orange, and red. That's pretty cool. I like it. We're going to put it right with the Wanderer plate, I think. Seems like a good spot. What do you guys think? Well, you probably can't see me, can you? We'll adjust you a little bit so you can see what I'm doing over here. You know, I'm just screwing around. That's all that's going on. Let's tilt you. Tilt you some more. Can you see me now? There. Wasn't that easy. So which one do you guys want to see next? Let's look at uh, 1984. The Hoosier State. 1984 sticker. That's a cool one. It's got a little scenery on there. A little picket fence and some hay and a log cabin. 45Z6914. I looked it up on why it's called the Hoosier State. And they used to say, who's there? Who's there? Who's here? And they just started saying who's here instead of who's there. I don't know. Some redneck slang or something. 
neither neighboring states say it, but they say it in Indiana. So I don't know if they talk with a little bit accent like Cletus does or what, but who's here? Who's there? Sounds pretty different to me. You guys are all crazy. That's what I got to say. Next up, back home again. 55A2420. 2420. I don't know. I can't speak. 1988 sticker. It's got that little symbol in there. I think that's on the Indiana flag. So uh, that guy's pretty cool. A little bit going on there. Not a whole lot, but... I don't know, so far they changed their passenger plate more than we do. Saskatchewan's had the same passenger plate since uh, 1977. We've had the same plate. In 98, they added a slogan, the land of the living skies. But other than that, it's the same plate for almost 50 years. It's crazy. Next up, we changed it up again, 1991. Who's your hospitality? 10F8912. Red on white with a little bit of blue. You know, American colors. We got the state shape going on this one. Still kind of that dog bone stamped outline, if you guys can see that. And now uh, we got a couple more to show you, but they start to get a little boring. I don't know. We'll show you this one first. This is a trail plate. 2012 it's still got the mud on it we thought we'd just leave that on there it might be cement i don't know maybe paint 4225d trail 12 indiana 02 i don't know some kind of logging truck or something i don't know what it's for i couldn't find any info sorry i let you guys down you're just gonna have to use your imagination pretend what it's for Write in the comments, let me know what you think it was used for. Maybe it's something special, maybe it's uh, rare and I just don't know it. I don't even know where it come from. Just ended up in the collection one day, like a lot of things do. Next we got this flat graphic plate. In God We Trust, the American God I guess, because they got the flag going on there. 87, 80, 78, 85. It's like the thinnest, cheapest piece of aluminum ever. It's like a portion of a pop can. 2009 so we might as well make them out of plastic at this point there's so little to that thing it's got your barcode on there i don't know cops just come up and scan your plate and just, you're under arrest sir have a good day do not collect two shiny ranger badges i don't know what i'm talking about people it's all good i mumble sometimes just say random things if it makes sense to you you must be a rambler too because it doesn't usually make sense to me. We got one more Indiana plate. It's been used in mystery plate package number 112. And uh, Cletus just showed it off a bit because he's apparently saving the bald eagles. But we got this environment plate. It's got the bald eagle on there. And as a little kid, it was like my favorite bird. So it's kind of cool looking plate. I don't know. It's like light blue with green. Save the environment. So let's throw this guy on here and... Uh, don't bring the camera over and show you what's on the wall. I checked out the webpage for graphic plates, but Indiana really didn't have a whole lot that interests me enough to show you the computer. So we're not going to go over there. They got a couple different college ones, different stuff like that. But uh, become a member of Alpca and you can go check it out for yourself and see if you think some are interesting. So there's Indiana, 1947 to... 20, 2009 looks pretty cool what do you guys think indiana license plate spotlight concludes that one if you're still here right to the end like i said hit that subscribe button like comment tell me what you think if you have any other information on indiana you want to share in the comments let me know i've never been there maybe someday i'll make a trip there but we got to become youtube famous first where they send me some money and then I'll road trip to all you guys. I'll come do videos with everyone. I'll come visit y'all. So uh, have an awesome day. Awesome week. Awesome year. Get into trouble. Find some plates. Do anything and everything. Keep listening to me ramble on. But uh, you know what's coming next.